to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Right. Or we can continue with the music. Welcome back, everyone, to the Weekly Flare. We've returned because we have more to talk about tonight because we're not done. So, Chris, we should get right into it. So, before the break, I asked you what we'd like to talk about on the show. And one of the things you said was technology that we're just really excited about that's kind of like changing the world. Yes. That's not exactly what you said. No, it's just technology that we never thought would be around. But that's right. But eventually it's coming. So, this year, um, you know... Is actually the the year of Back to the Future too, right? Yes. Not all the last ten years when people have photoshopped the picture, but I believe it's actually this year, right? I believe so. I think it's that. I think that's right. You didn't see Back to the Future too, did you? Yes, I is did. it this year that the hoverboard was supposed to happen for real? I think. Yeah. So. And it's hard to say because the picture keeps getting photoshopped every year mm -hmm. to say that October, but I'm pretty sure it's exactly. actually this October. So this guy. Um, named Catalan, no, yeah, Catalan Alexandru Duru, that's probably way wrong, uh, he set the world record for the longest hoverboard flight of 275, no, he broke, yeah, his flight was 275.9 meters, that's almost a thousand feet, it's wow. like 905 feet and two inches, um, he actually did this last year. But he did it, he submitted it to Guinness World Records, and it kind of takes him a while to get through all their submissions and then verify it. And so, yeah, so he flew, he said he wanted to prove that it was possible for people to maintain a controlled flight on a hoverboard. Because mm. basically all the previous, you know, reasons for not having it was it was too hard, or it was too hard to control, or it just wasn't possible. Remember there's that magnetic one we talked about like at the beginning of the yes. show that had to be over like a, a you know, like a brass or copper or whatever mm -hmm. it was, uh, you know, area. Yeah, this one doesn't do that. It just flies on its own. Wow. Um, he, it doesn't say how it works on here because he probably doesn't want to talk about it since he made it. But it definitely sounded like it was an electric motor that was uh, propelling it. Probably connected to some fans. Not going to lie, this sounds better than a souped up Honda. Dude, this sounds awesome. I mean, considering what it is. Yes. It wouldn't sound great in like a V8, you know, muscle car probably. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I've heard some V8 muscle cars with some pretty stupid sound exhaust on them. So this might sound better than some of those. Yeah. But uh, typically, I mean, this sounds great for being a couple fans, oh, some yeah. electric batteries, some electric batteries. There should have been a comm or something in there. Uh, it sounded great and it worked great. It looked super stable. Um, he made it himself, and uh, he said he can fly pretty high. His exact words were, it can be used, quote, anywhere, and can fly at, quote, scary heights. So, well, what's considered a scary um, height? The video had it about 16 feet off the ground as he travels out across uh, Quebec Lake. Quebec's Lake Quarry? 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 Uh, it starts with a Q and has a lot of U's in it. Kuru. Man, this is If you live near Quebec's Lake Kuru, you should tell us how it's actually pronounced, please. Because I have no idea. This is the next step, as we see in uh, the first Spider-Man with the Green Goblin. I want a... Hovercraft. I want a hoverboard. Hoverboard. I want this. I want to call him up and be like, dude, how much for one? And he'll be like, dude, a million dollars. And I'll be like, dude, never mind. Would you pay money to actually be able to fly it? I would buy one. You would buy one? Yeah. If you didn't have the opportunity to buy one, but would you pay to ride one? Absolutely, I would. I'd be out there like, woo! I'd be doing barrel rolls. <laughs> like, do a barrel roll. That would be kind of cool. Man, I don't think it could fly upside down. It, well, I mean, it, it probably could fly upside down, but it wouldn't last very long. No. It would just propel you into the water. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, he went out over the water just in case there was any problems, probably, mm -hmm. so that way when he, he bailed off, it wouldn't like, tear him up too bad. Yeah. But uh, it looked like it could fly over anything, fine, because it wasn't using the water to propel it. It was just, it was over water because in case there was a problem, probably. Yes. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. And so, that was cool. And so, technology is a cool thing. Technology. 
technology. You know, this is a cool technology thing. What's that? Google I.O. is happening. See, I haven't heard anything. You haven't yes. talked about it yet. I know. You this is this. brand spanking new information to you other than my email I sent you that was awfully cryptic this morning mm. saying we're going to talk about Google I.O. It's a developers conference. It's, it's kind of geeky uh, tech culture stuff, so we're not really going to talk specifics. But they're going to introduce a lot of new stuff, the biggest of which is probably going to be the next Android operating system. Uh, they're probably going to talk about virtual reality because okay. that's a big, big thing this year, so I'm sure they're going to want to talk about virtual reality. Let me turn this off because it's going to die anyways. Um, they're probably going to talk a little bit about Android Wear watches. Okay. Um, I don't expect them to talk too much about Android CarPlay or whatever they're calling Android for cars or autos or whatever it is, um, but they could because it's all software stuff. It's a lot of software stuff. So, my question to you, Chris, as someone who's an Apple iPhone user, is what's like the one thing that they would have to announce that would get you to switch from iPhone to an Android phone? Um, because obviously they haven't been able to do it yet. You've had an iPhone since the 3GS. Yes. And you stuck with iPhones through your 3GS till it like would not run anymore, then you bought a 4. Yes. And you've had your 4 now forever. Yeah, I need to switch over to a six. And you haven't, six. You yeah. haven't upgraded to any of the Android phones through all the different things they've done. Uh, the screen sizes for them were bigger. They mm. went to 4G technology first. They had a more open system. They have widgets. Mm. They, you know, all the stuff that Android's done, and none of it swayed you. No. So what would they have to do? What would be like the killer feature that would get you to switch from iPhone? From to iPhone, Android? it's going to be a copyright issue. Copyright issue. Yeah, I would say iMessage capability to be able to iMessage to people who are on iPhone. So if there is a way for you to iMessage from an Android phone to an iPhone, yes, or to a Mac, or and, to an iPhone, and able to play and able to put on my music from my iTunes to my phone because I don't like using Windows Media Player. Okay, well, I have a my music can Google Play. Okay. And it's from iTunes, and then everything okay. I buy on iTunes, I just down. That that I could get you around that one easy. Okay. The iMessage one though, so the iMessage most around. likely because a lot now, of my friends have iPhones, and I love iMessage. Would it be like an alternative, like to iMessage, or would it have to actually talk to iMessage? Well, the way that I I guess what we can say is the way iPhone works with iMessage is if you have two iPhones, mm -hmm. you can text each other via online. It doesn't go with your texting rates or anything like that. It doesn't really bother because right. I've got on texting but i like, like, goes to I like, data, the, I like then, the, yeah if they're on their mac they can sync it up to their mac exactly. and then use their mac to message or their ipad mm -hmm. or any of their other apple device basically i, I wouldn't want an extra app to so iMessage. you would want it to actually talk to iMessage. yes okay so that would be the killer app what if i told you that they're probably going to have fingerprint scanning embedded into the os well now, uh, the iPhone 6 technically has that mm, because yes. they have the fingerprint reader to unlock the phone, but it's locked down to just that and I believe authentication for your NFC reader for your Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that Google, when they have it, they'll probably open it up to let you use it for any app as your password, as your authentication method? Would that, that sway you? That would actually sway me. I guess what I can say, the reasons that I like Droid and Android is because they are highly customizable man you can do anything. With, with an iphone it's better for your older generation or your younger. Yeah. it's very i think it's very simple very if easy if you to jailbreak use. your iphone you can get widgets on there yeah and you can get i mean you can lot, you can though. get it pretty open if you jailbreak mm -hmm. it which technically now is perfectly legal within your rights of owning the phone yes her it just takes a lot out of your phone it, yeah. There's some problems, a lot of app crashes, a lot of different things. So it's definitely not stable. I would, like I said, I like Android, Android for the customize. Uh, I like you know that kind of stuff, different things. It, it's just that's how iPhone's always been. It's been a very very simple platform. There's definitely. certain things that I don't like. Uh, I've had some problems with an iPhone, but I'm hopefully with an iPhone six. If I get that in July, it'll be ten times better um, because they have come out with some really cool stuff. They have. Now, would you wait? Until after Apple's announcement for the iPhone coming out this year and just buy that one? Or would you buy the iPhone 6 when it's cheaper from the new one coming out? Yeah, I think I would buy the one that's cheaper. 
Um, so you would wait for them to announce the new phone and then buy the, the last one. Yeah, I'm not really looking. I'm not really looking to pay over 200 bucks. Okay. Because uh, I do get an upgrade. And it's about about 200 bucks, maybe 250 if I get a uh, 64 gigabyte. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about this new one, the iPhone 6, it goes from a 16 to a 64. The funny thing is, is that I actually need uh, a 32 because 16 is too small. And you a 64, 64 is way too big. No, there's no such thing as too big, man. Pictures, I mean, it's going crazy. Video, pictures, you need all the space you can get. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about like a 128 is what I need. I see. Yeah, I don't. Because then you can put all your music on there. Mm -hmm. Then you can take pictures and not have to worry about running a space. You can take video. Mm -hmm. Everything on one device. I, I guess the issue I have is a lot of my music that I do use is off Spotify. Okay, so you. Uh, I don't everything. buy a lot of music, but when I do, uh, I have maybe about fifteen hundred songs, and maybe I've cut down a lot of apps. There are certain apps that I have to download and undownload, and then re-download when I do use them because I don't use them very often. Um, see, yeah, that's sixty-four. I don't have to worry about it. I know. One that or I can get a droid and get a, uh, a micro SD card. Right. You got now see that's the thing. So the Motorola went away from SD cards in the Moto X, but the Moto the lower end of their Moto phones still have mm -hmm. an SD card. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring that back again because now even Samsung's gone away from having an SD card. Well, what kind of phone do you have again? I have a Moto X. I have the second gen Moto okay, X. Okay, so you have the second gen Moto X. If you were to have any uh, phone right now, drop it out free of charge. What would you take? I would probably just keep my Moto X until the new one comes out. Okay, so you. I'm more. really happy with it. I've I've seen kind of. The I, maybe I would take the Droid Turbo. Okay. I'd have to play with one first though to okay. decide. Now you like you like the size of your phone. It's a little bigger than I want. Okay, so you don't like something big. No, it's a little too big. The size of the original first gen Moto X was perfect. Okay. This one's a little too big, but. It was the it was better the alternative at the time was just a, a phone that just wasn't as good. Okay. And so I was like, well, I still want a good phone, and so I had to get the second gen Moto. I didn't have to because just mm -hmm. first gen Moto X, I suppose. I wanted a new phone, mm -hmm. so I bought the second gen Moto X. I love it. It's a great phone. The only thing is, I wish the screen size was smaller, but mm -hmm. that's just not the way it's going to be for a while. Phones are going to keep getting bigger, and then eventually. It'll get too big and they'll go back small again. Well, we did talk about something way early in in the start of our podcast, but we had that customizable that customizable phone. Would you oh yeah, that? yeah. Would oh definitely. That? If I could get that phone and get the specs up to something like my Moto X, I would do that because I could just enjoy stock Android on it and work mm -hmm. great. I know the thing is, is that I know a lot of people with a Galaxy S four or five around that area, mm -hmm. and I'm a big Snapchat user. Not, Surprise. Not, not as much for you, but I love using that. But a lot of the times, I get videos of their cats or their dogs or them trying to talk. It, the camera quality is awful uh, for a, for a video camera, um, and that's one of the things that is that I don't like on the Droid or the Android. Yeah, Android across like the board, the camera quality is it's harder. It's not that like I've seen pictures from an S5 or an S6 that look as good as oh, iPhone 5 and iPhone 6 pictures. The, the pictures are great, but the the, video, the videos are awful. The shutter is just really hard to capture light. And I mean, I've, iPhones have the same. Mm -hmm. Video it's, across the board on a mobile device is very difficult because of lighting. It's hard to get the lighting right. Even with my iPhone, I just feel like with a with a Galaxy S4, S5, it's very jerky. It's not smooth. Like with, a, with mine, it's very smooth. But this <laughs> one is just it's what you would expect out of a $69.99 uh, handheld USB camera. Now, could that be... I was now on Snap, I don't know how Snapchat works, so I, I, don't, I can't mm. say. It could be the Snapchat quality, but I've never really... I guess I, I would have to see. It, I don't know. I don't, I've never... I, don't Snapchat, I, I guess so I, would I, like, no I would like to see... It could be the front-facing camera. It could be the I mean, well, we can just check it. Why don't we take my phone and your phone? We can shoot some video and see how we they could. look side by side. I would, but I, I guess we would have to pull an S4 because I think a lot of the videos that I get are from S4. Okay, well, I don't S5. have an S4. Joey has an S5. Does he like it? He loves it. Okay. I'd like to check some out. If you guys have any videos or anything like that, you just want to compare. Personally, that's one of the biggest things I think uh, that Send like Chris all your phone videos. That are appropriate. And good quality. Or bad quality, if that's True. all your phone can do. But keep them appropriate, though. Yes. We don't need Chris out gouging out his eyeballs. No. He kind of needs those to work. I will tweet it out. Wow, that's uh, threatening. Well, I will shout you out. Oh, you meant in a good way? No, in a bad way. Oh, in a bad way. I will okay. smite you. So if you gouge Chris's eyes out, he'll embarrass you in the yes. whole internet. 
Otherwise, send him your video. All right, Chris, with that being said, maybe we should wrap it up. Definitely. What do you think? Well, um, before we start wrapping it up, I kind of want to say thank you for everyone joining us. Oh, yeah, us. it's episode 20. Oh, episode 20. I'd like to thank everyone joining us on Periscope and, and on Meerkat. Meerkat. We've had a lot more people coming on Meerkat than Periscope. That's why I personally like Paris, or Meerkat a lot. Yeah, better. I don't know. Periscope, um, uh, it like overall, I've heard now, these are just statistic numbers. Who knows what's actually right? That it's a more stable platform and that there's actually a larger user base. Okay. Which I'm not really sure how you could judge your user base since it just ties into Twitter. So, but uh, yeah, I, I will see. I'm still interested to see how they both do head to head. Yes. But. And we're going to keep supporting both of them for the, for the intermediate time mm -hmm. until we decide what we like. Yeah. Um, I have thought about doing some single stuff on on Meerkat. Yeah. Maybe talk about some personal things or... Um, I tried to Meerkat the Avengers 2 premiere, but uh, it was just too dark. Uh, and so my phone was having issues yeah. with how dark it was in the theater before the movie started. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to try to do something like that, but um, just want to say thank you guys for whoever joined. Um, also, we are still trying to do our giveaway. Uh, have you got anything on the feeds? I didn't see anything. Okay, yeah, we'll be pushing it off until we get something going on. But um, might raise if we get ten shoutouts uh, by episode twenty-five, we'll probably do a twenty-five dollar gift card then, and we'll do that. Uh, so keep trying, keep going. Is this like the lottery? If we make it to thirty, they get thirty dollars, and then forty is forty dollars. You 50. want? You no, want? No, that'd be insane. Well, if okay. we get to hundred, now we're just waiting for the hundred dollars, and then all of a sudden they'll shout us we'll, out. We'll cap it. We'll cap it out at twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks. And by episode twenty-five. If we don't have 10 by 25, it's over. Unless we see somehow someone shouting us out. No. If we don't have 10 by 25, it's over. You 10 people that listen are, are 10... We have 10 people we have that 10 listen. 10 people that listen, but... We have more than 10 people that listen. Yeah. You just need you 10 to shout us out. At least 10 of you. Yes. What have I'll, you got to lose? I'll even pay for the postage. Why? Wow. 44 cents? I don't know. I haven't bought stamps in a while. No. I just buy forever stamps, and then when I run out, I buy more forever stamps. There you go. Because who mails stuff anymore, first off? I email. Yeah, exactly. Email. I tweet. I make some text messages. I don't, I don't want to send anything in the mail. I get stuff in the mail, but I don't send stuff in the Bills. mail. We so got a nature box. That is true. You get a nature box. See, it was good. What I get is bills. And I'm mm, just a bill. And yes, I'm only a bill. I got that lawyer. kind of bill? No, I got lawyers coming in. Oh, you got the lawyers room. now? I got about 10 of them trying to take care of my speeding ticket. Yeah. I'm going to take care of it, though. But yeah. how, how much time do we have? We got, we we got, got I mean, we got like five minutes before the, the video's going to end. Yeah. We're gonna, I guess we just close this up then. Let's close this up. And close it up, man. We, uh, we're going to talk about where you can find us. Where can you find us, Chris? Well, you can find me. And fight underscore with underscore heart. I was trying to figure out which one I was going to do first. That one uh, is my Instagram feed. Um, yes. Fight with heart all together. One word. No, not one word. All separated. That one's my Vine. And never lose heart. All one word is my Twitter. Chris, why is it so complicated to find you on the know. internet? I don't know. Maybe because I don't like people who find me. I don't want people to find me. Are you worried about your stalker, Chris? She's in jail. Which one? The first one. The one that scarred you for life. No, the sec that was the second one. I don't know. I, I really don't want anybody following me anymore. I'm so done. He's so done with stalkers. Yeah. I'm married, so stalkers see me like, ah, forget you. James? You can find me. I'm real easy. Just go to twitter.com slash James Walter. And you can find me there. Everything that you want to know about me is all there. You can find all my other projects from there. Uh, Yeah. You can find The Weekly Flare, just go to theweeklyflare.com. Or you can find us on Twitter at The Weekly Flare, or Facebook at The Weekly Flare, or Instagram at The Weekly Flare. You can even find us on YouTube at The Weekly Flare Podcast. Uh, you can find us on Periscope and Meerkat, yes. but that's just linked to our Twitter. Yes. So that's pretty easy. Uh, you should check out the website, though, because there's a blog that hasn't been updated in like two months. Because someone never blogs. I'm sorry. I have trouble finding, trying to find stories. It's easy. You just type, 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 and True. then something comes out. I don't know. Maybe we should get Rachel a blog for us. We should. She's shaking her head now. I will pay her. In Sour Patch Kids. No one ever pays me. <laughs> don't forget, 
Shout us out. Don't our forget, tweet. E3 is coming up. Yes. I'm still working out all the details for that, but we're definitely going to try and live stream some reactions after press conferences. Okay. Chris, you're going to be at work though, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be at work. So sad. It might just be me then. We'll see. I haven't heard back from anyone else either. So it might just be my lonely face freaking out about all the new announcements. We'll see. But anyways, we're going to get on out of here. So thanks for watching. Um, and make sure you come back again next week for more awesome stuff. Peace. Take it easy.